Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. It is Bruce Jordan, the Michael Jordan Hotels. And today we have new gen advisors here. How you guys doing today? Oh, we're wonderful. Thank you. Now, what we got going on for 2024 at new gen? Well, in 2024, new gen is looking forward to helping hotel owners sell or buy new hotels all across the country. Now, how have things been going on with new development? Because I hear it's a it's a it's a rough market and prices are going up. Uh, the capital stack is changing for everyone. So, what is it like? What are what are you seeing out in the market that uh that uh that are get these deals done and make it happen? I mean, they're still going strong because I mean, when it comes to brands, brands are always going to dictate what those markets are are going to do. So, I, I don't see it. It's slow slowing down anything whatsoever. Uh, if anything, there's more being built, in my opinion. So, now what are the franchises doing to contribute to the to these new developments getting done? I mean, it, it could be a a wide thing of things. Uh, it could be discounts on your royalties. It could be key money to uh, put into the project. Uh, just numerous things. I mean, it just depends on how you want to work out your your agreement with them. So what is the most amount of key money you've seen a franchise give to a hotel to get a, a, a deal done? I mean, I've seen some stuff go into the six figure range. Nice. So. Nice. But, you know, the fr that, that had to be a nice project because, you know, the franchise want yeah. their money back. Of so course. they had to have some high franchise. In the game yeah. That, yeah. That, that. So that 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 makes sense. That makes sense. You can tell me the franchise later because I need that six that, figures. That, that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, how many projects, like new projects, new developments, have you seen happen this year that is closed on, paperwork signed, money exchanged hands, it's ready to go? Like New builds. Yeah, new builds. I mean, new builds, uh, I, I haven't seen uh, have, uh, have anything go through my desk yet. Uh, construction is taking longer than it normally has. Uh, a lot of these crews, they just short-staffed right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm building two properties myself right now, uh, but... We are about two months behind than what we were planned on just because weather did the delay shortage on staff, stuff like that. So but uh, it's still going as fast as we can, mm -hmm. but it, it, it has long in that timeline. What is the biggest difference you've seen uh, before the pandemic versus versus now? Uh, cost wise. Cost wise? Yeah. Uh, probably what we pay our staff. Uh, to 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 keep them loyal to the to the company, uh, it took a lot to keep them out there. And without loyalty, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're you're going to be stuck with a wish wash product, right? So, yeah. And also the, the cost of capital as well. You know, with, with interest rates as high as they are right now, you know, uh, just to finance deals, it is much more costly because um, hoteliers are paying a lot more in interest than they did prior to the pandemic. Insurance, everything. Now, what, what are some of the things that a lot of hotel owners are, are doing that is like some is it like different types of loans that are more expensive than others, like a PIP will cost more than a new build or our PIP will cost more than a, a refinance? Like what are the changes you're seeing in interest rates? You know, I, I think any type of financing that a hotel is trying to do, whether they're trying to get construction loans or mm -hmm. they're doing a PIP or they're trying to do a new acquisition and just the interest rate period is it's higher and so it is costing them more uh, all around if they're looking to refinance mm -hmm. so oftentimes we see when a hotel needs to refinance it may be better for the owner to sell the property rather than incurring a much higher interest rate and because then that really changes the bottom line mm -hmm. if you go from a four percent interest to an eight percent interest you know then that's a lot that is being taken off from the bottom line yeah now, as far as um, speaking of selling, as far as 1031 exchanges are concerned, are you seeing a lot of people just doing more 1031 exchanges just to avoid the interest or avoid the get capital gains? What, oh, what are you saying? Yes. Yeah, and actually with the 1031 exchange, yeah, I think that is one of the things that has kept the transaction volume mm -hmm. up uh, because, you know, people are, once they sell, they oftentimes look to buy something else, you know, so that they can we've, uh, avoid we've the, that up to the interest. Uh, past three, four years have been stellar years when, not, when the market bounced back. Right? You know, anytime you're going to start cutting the fat of your por portfolio, mm -hmm. this is the time where you start cutting that fat. Now, uh, some people don't know what 1031 exchanges is, so I'm, I'm going to let them break break down how a 1031 exchange works. How does a 1031 exchange work? So a 1031 exchange is 
your capital gains that you gained off of your property. Mm -hmm. You have six months after the close of your property to roll that over into a like entity. Okay. To where, uh, like, if you sold a hotel, you can't go out and buy like 10 gas stations. It has to be another hotel, motel type of business. Uh, that's the only way that you will refrain from paying those capital gain taxes. Okay. So, so will um, like a hostel work or senior living to work or? Uh, no, no, it has to be another hotel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now, is there anything else you want to share with the audience about what's going on at Nugen? Uh, one of the hottest brokerages are, are, are around when it comes to hotels. No one does it better. Please stop by. <laughs> and no matter where you're looking to buy or sell across the country, we're here to help you. So uh, reach out to Nugen at NugenADV.com. All right. Fantastic. You heard it from here. This is Bruce Jordan, the Michael Jordan Hotels, signing out. This episode was brought to you by the Hotel Revenue Bible, the number one hotel revenue book that has ever been written. It includes revenue management, digital ads, social media, social media marketing, sales, catering, F&B, and more. Grab your copy today at hotelrevenuebible.com.